Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today I'm going old school. That's right. For all you guys out there with me who, you know, appreciate a little bit of old school, that's what I did today. I went an old school hat. Oh, and for you haters out there, uh, I did earn this hat. Not only did I train with Blackwater, but I also worked for them uh, many, many moons ago. So today we're going old school, but we're going to talk about uh, the current hoplophobia or the fear that some Americans have over the black rifle and these are big and mean and scary and oh it's gonna jump off the table and it's gonna kill me I was talking to a friend of mine recently and uh, he's about the same age as me and he was visiting with his mom and his mom who obviously is in her late 60s early 70s uh, she said she asked him what's going on with with why do people have all these automatic weapons and all where did people get all these assault rifles from? And he said, Mom, he goes, they're AR-15 rifles. Uh, we've had them for decades and decades. It's not something new. She goes, yeah, but, but I've been watching the news. And unfortunately, a lot of people in our society, that's what they do all day long is they watch the news. And so what do they do? They're bombarded with this assault rifle, assault rifle, assault rifle. And my friend explained to his mom, he said, he goes, Mom, they're they're not machine guns they're semi-automatic rifles semi-automatic rifles have been around for a hundred years and it's just the way it looks and his mom said this to him he, she said well but assault why did assault rifle just sounds scary exactly exactly and i said and, and you know him and i we were talking and he said i said your mom has fallen prey like tens of thousands of other people who don't really know uh to the propaganda the word assault rifle. It just sounds scary. So as the good guys, as bona fide good guys, we have to say to ourselves, how can we combat this? How can we combat this? You know, how can we, you know, change the term from this being a an AR-15 or an M4 variant or you know a black rifle to assault rifle? Because that just sounds scary. And it's it's gonna jump up and it's gonna it's gonna stalk me in the middle of the night and it's gonna kill me because it's an assault rifle. Well, we were talking about it, and, and uh, my buddy, it was Shane, my buddy, and he, I said, you know what, Shane? We, as good guys, we need to change the argument. We're going to change the verbiage around a little bit. And I said, when it comes to a stoner-based platform, whether it's from Armalite or Bushmaster or, you know, Keltec, or not Keltec, <laughs> Armalite, Bushmaster, DPMS, whatever, if it's a stoner-based rifle, from now on, I'm going to make the purposeful decision, and I'm going to refer to it not as an AR, not as a black rifle, not as a stoner rifle. I'm going to call it a happy rifle. That's right. This right here is a happy rifle. How could you not like a happy rifle? So from now on, if you want to uh, talk to your friends about your stoner-based rifle, refer to it as a happy rifle. Now, the happy rifle that's in my hand right now, this is my daughter's rifle, my daughter Paxton, uh, who is now 18 years old, oh my lord, and this little pink gun here is her happy rifle. So, when you talk to your friends from now on, if they want to talk about stoner-based platforms, if they want to talk about ARs, refer to it as a happy rifle. All right. Now, what is our homework assignment today? Our homework assignment today, our recommended reading is... Sun Tzu, The Art of War. Now when you research these, you'll find that there's all kinds of different variations. Now this particular one uh, was translated by Lionel Giles. Lionel Giles. Uh, you can go to studentofthegun.com. You can click up there on our special offers or affiliates page. Go to Amazon and you can order The Art of War by Sun Tzu. So for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com and don't forget your happy rifle.